Welcome back to another video guys and today we are back with uh, a big big update the update 10.0 is out uh, and today we're gonna be talking about it and we're gonna be uh, uh, speculating on a bunch of other things because we have the uh, files updated as well after the new update uh, we have a lot of things to talk about actually let's begin uh, with the actual update notes uh, and what bugs are actually getting fixed so uh, actually some interesting changes here I, I do I do like the, all the uh, notes here so the first one is that they've added a daily and weekly indicator uh, for uh, missions so you don't have to like all the time go back in, in and out in and out all the time I really like that because this was really annoying for me uh, so this change is definitely something I really look forward to and people ask for it uh, straight away after the daily and mission, weekly missions came, uh, came out next up uh, they have fixed the priority so the daily is always going to be on the left and the weekly on the right uh, I'm not sure if that's the case in the game though um, but yeah, uh, game performance improvements now, this is particularly relating to the lag that you get when you use shotgun and grenades to kill multiple walkers, usually like slims and rottens, uh, because they cause a bit of lag on screen, so hopefully this uh, kind of gonna improve that. Obviously, NG said that uh, the next update is also gonna have more performance improvements, so uh, we'll have to wait and see on that. Um, right, obviously shotgun performance is said it. Uh, now fixed returning from flares. Now this is the second bug which was affecting people. Uh, basically when you're coming back from a flare your character is stuck in that position at the same position from the flare and you have to restart him in order for that character to move because if you were mobile your character would be just stuck on, on there. Uh, and obviously now they are giving out compensation for that so basically people that were affected between the 10th of December uh, 2019 and 12th of February 2020 7am UTC time are gonna get a proposal of the flares back to their accounts uh, however um, uh, yeah, please be patient they're coming the flares are coming uh, support uh, you don't need to contact them because engine knows who has been affected and even free to play players are gonna get flares back if they spend a lot uh, because uh, it's basically anyone who has spent flares in that period regardless if you have those flares bought with money or you earn them for free uh, so everybody's gonna get flares back so there you go guys it's not the only the 5% crate that they released like a couple weeks ago uh, so make sure you update the latest update to have this flare bug fixed uh, next up they have fixed the uh, battle pass level up uh, visual bug which was a big bug as well because a lot of people thought they were ripped off and they did not receive the cards that they should receive so this is also a really nice uh, small uh, not really small this is a really nice bug fix uh, next up they fixed the auto kick and auto demote features so they've been disabled uh, for like a month now and there were a lot of dead leaders and members so now that this has been released uh, they're gonna uh, be kicked so uh, bye, bye bye to dead people and uh, yeah hello to activity <laughs> Right, uh, next up they uh, fixed, I don't know actually, I, I think there was a bug where you could not search a group by their full name, uh, so that's also I guess a good fix. Tutorial improvements, uh, we did speculate on a bunch of new things in the code, uh, and then other bug fixes as well. Now something cool that they did here is that they've actually told you uh, what other known bugs there are in this update. So. The good thing about this is that uh, these bugs can relate to the whispers in the bow which are yet to come so they're not out yet so it uh, doesn't really affect anyone. The I think the most annoying bug out of here is going to be that you cannot see the rewards you get from raider bases so you're going to get the empty screen but you're still going to get the rewards there so do not worry you actually get the rewards. Uh, and there is another uh, annoying bug so basically uh, when you throw a grenade and if you happen to shoot it that grenade is gonna bounce off because of the bullets and it's gonna fly off somewhere else so uh, this is interesting and there is another uh, visual bug where when you shoot walkers with headshots some of the headshots are gonna be red instead of white so uh, this is a known bug as well and it's gonna be fixed in the next update so worry not it's nothing big nothing game breaking so far I have not seen any game breaking things happening after this update so overall this looks really nice with the flare compensation and everything now let's talk about the new content in this update oh my god yes guys we've been expecting uh, these guys forever the whisperers are coming very soon to a mission near you and I'm really excited because the whisperers they look amazing guys so they hide among the walkers they're kind of smarter they move a bit different but they're also more alert so they know who you are they're not gonna go for your companion they're gonna skip your companion and go straight at you now if you might if you damage them uh, and you don't kill them instantly they're gonna actually start 
dashing towards you guys yes they're gonna start running like crazy uh, people there uh, with knives and they're gonna try and stab you and kill you instantly uh, so your companion is gonna be busy fighting the actual walkers while the whisperers are gonna fight you straight away so you need to be really quick because if the companion actually uh, the, uh, the walkers defeat the companion super quick they're gonna come at you as well but the whispers are gonna already run at you so you have to be really quick with those instincts let's see uh, what's gonna happen there yeah and also to help you tackle those whispers there's gonna be a new bow class which is amazing because um, the bows are a new type of weapon uh, and uh, they uh, have a special ability so the more you hold down your screen there's gonna be like a bar that fills up and that uh, shot becomes more powerful so the if you hold it enough and release it uh, on, on a whisperer's head they're very whispers are very vulnerable against bows uh, it's gonna deal a massive amount of damage pretty much gonna kill him as well because uh, it depends the level of the bow obviously uh, and the level of the whisperer but it's very effective against the whisperers also because I guess it's a silent killer so it's not gonna attract normal walkers essentially if you manage to see which one of those walkers are whisperers um, so that is interesting I, I, I really like the the whole new mechanic of the whisperers and the bows it's it does definitely add something interesting to the game uh, it's not just about bug fixing obviously you need to get some new content as well uh, and that this is really 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 fun um, obviously this content is uh, coming up after February 23rd when The Walking Dead comes back uh, so uh, it's uh, it's gonna be interesting there you guys uh, it's gonna be interesting the event calendar is coming up so there's gonna be a lot of information uh, right uh, next up we have uh, the long awaited unbanned button yes oh my god guys it's been uh, what a year and a half and finally we're getting the unbanned button we did speculate on it back in november i think but this button is amazing so basically leaders and co-leaders are gonna have a brand new button where when they click it they're gonna see like a menu of players that have been banned and then they can easily just click and unban them they can unban multiple players at the same time and obviously when somebody gets unbanned uh, they're gonna see everybody in the group is gonna see a chat notification that this guy has been unbanned now i'm not quite sure if the uh, banned player is gonna go back straight to the group because in a situation when the group is full there is no way the, the somebody is gonna get kicked automatically just because somebody got unbanned so I guess people are gonna get unbanned and that means that they're gonna be able to find and join that group and obviously we have the social cooldown now which is gonna be three hours as well so it's gonna be less of a wait uh, so it's a nice change especially when you accidentally ban someone instead of promoting him so it would be really really nice uh yeah looking forward to this unbanned feature uh and finally let's talk about there is a bunch of events coming up this season we have legendary alpha guys that is coming up and by the way uh i, I had a look at the updated code uh she's gonna be a shotgun class user so uh yeah i guess this is kind of nice uh, shotguns are not too bad uh, next up we have a new common bow so again updated they updated the game files with the common bow we have a new rare smg and we have the second winner of the become a hero competition coming as well he's a common and looking at the game code yes he's going to be an assault class uh so yeah i mean there is also a uh, interesting thing so we have a bunch of like they've added the whispers obviously with the latest update in the code so they have whispers a b and c uh they have various uh, like uh, i guess uh, looks of the whisperers because they do look similar to the regular walkers uh but if you look closely they're actually wearing masks instead of actually having uh, actual walker skins so yeah it's kind of nice and there is a new interesting bow which i believe it's not uh was not announced yet and this is the yumiko's bow uh, uh, and Yumiko is a character in the show so, which is not out in the game yet so maybe we could be getting Yumiko as well uh, because Yumiko bow seems to be a higher rarity than the normal I believe they're gonna release a common bow and we did speculate on a new rare bow as well which they don't mention here but uh, Yumiko seems to be some different bow which we have not seen yet so and they've just added that to the file so maybe we'll see obviously we need to see legendary bow I really want to see Daryl's crossbow because Daryl's crossbow is gonna be sick like a legendary Daryl's crossbow anyway that will be interesting and that's uh, all the information for now guys a lot of exciting stuff coming up uh, event calendar coming up board information coming up so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video and as always see you all in my next video